Welcome to the SCLD podcast, where we talk about all the things you can do and find at the library. Hi, I'm Andrea Brumbaugh. I am the social media specialist here at Spokane County Library District. And with me today is Savannah Stewart, the communication associate. Correct. Correct. All right. (laughs) (laughs) And today we are here again talking about uh, another fun program that we have both participated in. We've done this before. We did our uh, our acrylic painting. Yes, the painting. And we both separately did the crochet. We did. (laughs) (laughs) Not at the same time, but yeah. Um, But so Creative Bug is one of our um, digital resources. And it's really cool. You can go on there. You don't have to have um, an, you, you have, if you have an in district library card, you get an account with Creative Bug for free through the district. But you can also get an account separately if you don't have an in-district library card with us. And it's very cheap. It's yeah, like it's like six bucks a month, I think. Yeah. So if yeah. you're doing just one program or sure. something, it's not it's not very much. Yeah. Um and Creative Bug has all kinds of different things on there. So many things. They have um daily practices, which is like what we did with our um acrylic. the painting, you know, the ac- acrylic painting where and you, the crochet too. Right. Daily right. Practices. So but you don't have to do it every day. You no. can do it at your own pace. Um, And then also they have just all kinds of other, you know. Crafting, anything you can think of really. Yeah. Knitting, crochet, scrapbooking. um, All kinds of stuff. Book art. I've seen that on there too, different book art. But, you know, that hurts my heart. So I can't, I can't. Yeah, it's hard. (laughs) It's like, okay, rip the pages out of the book. Like, I can't. Mm, Yeah. I physically cannot do this. Do not make me. It (laughs) has to be like a really old book that's, you know. It's going to be basically going to be trash to be moldy for me to do it. <laughs> moldy. I don't moldy know book if you, art. <laughs> I don't know if you want it, would want moldy book art. Yeah. Catch a new disease. That's yeah. Fair. That's don't fair. buy anything from Etsy from Savannah. <laughs> <laughs> That's just good life advice actually. <laughs> but the program that we did this time was foundational figure drawing with creative mm-hmm. bug, which this is one of the programs that the district decided to kind of take from creative bug and then also make a program with the district. So right. we have this, um, we did, there were like three different, um, kind of classes on or videos on creative bug. Yeah. There wasn't that many. Yeah. And then, um, and then we also went online and interacted and talked to different people who were also participating. Yeah. So it was kind and, of a group class. Feel. Right. And then we had, uh, we'd meet up every week for the month of March and just talk about, you know, what worked, what didn't work, any tips or tricks that we yeah. figured out and just to have people doing the same thing with us and mm-hmm. we just like, draw together, which was nice. Yeah. Yeah. It was cool to see. Yeah. They definitely had a lot of tips and different websites and, and yeah. things that you could use, um, to, you know, do more, than just those videos that we had on. Yeah, Creative because Bug. everybody who signed up for this class, I mean, came with something different, a different background and either maybe they hadn't drawn anything at all ever right. or they're like, oh, I do this all the time. I'm an art major. And yeah. This is one thing I haven't been able to do is foundational figure drawing, which is drawing people, bodies yeah. moving, right. bodies moving. Yeah, because you might have have done faces or, or something yeah. in the but you hadn't done the whole body. I know that's yeah. something that I have always had trouble with because I've yes. done art in high school and college and stuff and People. bodies I never it's really. <laughs> yeah. It's tricky. I yeah. did like um, during the videos though, how our instructor would talk about like looking at the human form and it was just like, look at all these curves and shadows. Like it's just, you're describing the human body in a way that we don't really hear all the time. Yeah. It's just like, look at this beautiful curve here. And you're like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> beautiful curve. Beautiful curve. Like yeah. it's just, it was nice. It yeah. was nice. Yeah. It was it, a different was way a very, of kind of looking at it. Yeah. It was observing a human body, but like in a beautiful way and not mm-hmm. like a, make sure that bone sticks out, like nothing like that. <laughs> right. Which right. Is good. I mean, I mean, if they have bones sticking out, you got to make sure you draw on it correctly, right. but <laughs> don't say it that way. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, one of the things that's really cool too about when we do these programs, mm-hmm. um, with Creative Bug, but we have it our own program. Not only do we interact 
weekly, like online with other people that are participating, but you also get a supply bag. Yes. And so we basically, all we had to do was have some kind of, um, sketch pad, notepad, um, yep. uh, to draw on. And that's the only thing we really needed to provide, provide. ourselves. Right. So other things that we got were, um, some of this vine charcoal, um, which wasn't in the videos, but, but um, but good it's thing to have. good to have. Yeah. Sure. And I ended up using it because... <laughs> What happened we got, there? <laughs> we got two um, compressed charcoal pencils. How and, tall were they when you started? Um, you know, <laughs> normal pencil size. Okay. Um, yeah. And I'm going to get charcoal, my, <laughs> uh, charcoal all over my face. But um, so they showed us in the videos how to properly, like, sharpen okay. your compressed charcoal pencils. Yeah. And... I got it working a few times, but it also would break sometimes, yep. which is not great. But that was another nice thing um, about interacting with people um, that were also participating because some of them found some better pencils yes. that, that worked better that wouldn't break as often. Um, so that we got that. This also was, um, it's a uh, no idea. What's the word? <laughs> no idea what it was called. Okay, so this is a, another tool that we would use to um, to sharpen the pencils, and Soften I cannot the think. Edges. You know it's what like it is? I can't think of paper. sandpaper. Exactly. Oh, you. That's the word think I could sandpaper. Right. That's oh. the word I couldn't think of. No judgment. Every time I get on these podcasts, <laughs> yeah, just All goes out knowledge. the window. I know okay. nothing. <laughs> and then we got um, a couple of. Gum erasers, which I Those are love. So fun. These are the best erasers. Um, I actually have an old one of mine that I was using. I'm like, I'm gonna save those. <laughs> and then um, a regular, I don't, what is this even called? An eraser. A regular eraser. <laughs> I don't know. They called it something else. But um, but anyway, so we got we didn't get an exacto knife. This is mine. But um, <laughs> we got all these all these nice. Um, supplies. Yeah, just so, to get you started. Yeah, so because, you don't even have to have all these things to be a part of this. Well, and that's kind of, I think, um, a little bit of a hurdle when you start something. You're like, yeah. okay, I need to buy all these things, but what do I need to buy? Which right. one's the best one? So right. the library providing just like, here's to get you started makes mm -hmm. a big difference, especially yeah. with the crochet one. I'm like, I don't even know what size hook. And they're like, here, take this. And yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know what? This is great. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. It's it's very nice. I love that, that we do give um, those supplies to people yeah. because, yeah, you're right. It's hard when you're starting a new thing. To, to even know what you're looking at when yeah. you go to, like, a store, an art store. Like, yeah. Um, yeah, I <laughs> There's don't know. There's 15 rows of pencils. Which one? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. So do we want to show some of the things sure. that we drew? Yeah. Um, and so you have all the supplies. Mm -hmm. I did not sign up in time. So I do not have the same supplies that you have. I right. have supplies from a, an art class I took I think at the beginning of COVID, I think it was like February oh, well. and our last couple classes got canceled because pandemic happened. Right. Um, so I, all the items I have are with like graphite. Yeah. So I did a lot of the same stuff, but with, on a different medium with a different type yeah. of pencil, but and I, I am excited to see what yours looks like. Well, and I got, I got this charcoal pad. Um, the, the one that they had recommended was like a newsprint smooth yeah. and I couldn't find one of those when I was looking. So I go, oh, I've got this one and it's charcoal, but yeah. it's kind of bumpy. So I, it's not it? necessarily my favorite, I... um, you know, Oh, it's yeah. It's not necessarily my favorite thing because you can see the bumps yeah. in the drawing. So, yeah. oh, Hey, look, there's, this is worth it. <laughs> All right. What do we want to start with? What do we, what do we have? Um, Hold on, I gotta go oh. past. <laughs> so one of the one of the videos was um, full body, right? Yeah. One of the videos was face, oh, and one of the videos sure. was hands and feet. I'm telling you, just to you. Oh, I can't. Oh, that wasn't from this class. I was a novice <laughs> on that one. So one of the first things that he did, I'll just go ahead and show this. Um, yeah. One of the first things that we did was kind of draw, um, we had this picture of a leg 
And uh, he had us just, just to kind of what we were talking about, the seeing those different curves and mm -hmm. seeing like just the way a leg isn't just this straight. Yeah, it's not. Um, yeah. You can start with lines that show right. direction, but it yeah. really is a... Yeah, it's more more curve, curve and to so. see all the different ways yeah. things go. I have a hard time, no matter what um, pencil or charcoal or whatever I'm using, to to do a light line. So all of my stuff is just really dark. Yeah, <laughs> and and, and yeah, then I hard can't erase graphic. Oh yeah, yeah, sure, sure, that looks great. <laughs> there you go. I mean, it looks like somebody's <laughs> sitting with their chest puffed out, and it's not what I meant to do. Um, and then he kind of showed oh, yeah. us on, in the um, uh, the full body one, kind of yeah, showed us how to how to do different um, body parts, um, how to kind of start them, and think about the way that they're positioned and mm -hmm. that kind of stuff. That was I enjoyed. That made sense to me because mm -hmm. I've taken a lot of anatomy classes and he's like, oh, you know, the pelvic area is like a bowl. I'm like, it is though. It is a bowl. <laughs> it is a bowl. Yeah. There's some mouths. Oh yeah. You were doing mouths. Ooh. Do they look like mouths? They do. Okay. They do look like mouths. Is that a mouth with a beard? <laughs> yeah. 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 That's, I mean, if you want to know, it's Michael Fassbender's mouth. Oh, okay. I don't. I just have a picture of him. Not that I printed it out. It's fine. Mm -hmm. It's fine. I can't sure. walk back this. No offense. Yep. We all fans, know mm -hmm. your obsession with the Michael Fassbender now. <laughs> I like this. <laughs> That's cute. But the movement. You yeah. The yeah. Movement. I have that one too. Oh, yeah. The I movement. He was telling us about yeah, that, the different. That looks way better. Showing like just the way different things um, are moving and and how, you know. It's obviously not straight. Ooh. Okay. I got an ear. The nose, that, well, that ear is really good. I don't think many of my ears turned out that good. Um, but you, yeah, baby. your noses are good too. Thank you. Um, my favorite one is my. Oh, okay, so with, I kind of have this. Oh, yeah. Yeah, well, I'll do Maybe that one too. Here, I didn't on. get to finish it. I didn't finish mine either. This is the full body at Ooh, the end of that. Nice. Yeah. And I did. That looks great. Again, dark. <laughs> and I have trouble erasing because I just start off really dark. And I didn't, yeah. I didn't do it all the way. I did too big so that uh, I didn't get the feet. Yeah. But, you know. Yeah, look at these. Yeah, this is look my at, favorite page. <laughs> I'm really proud of this. Look one. at his nose. <laughs> yeah, so this That's was on awesome. from the video where it was the face. And yeah. he kind of just showed us different, different tips about, yeah. you know, when you're creating an eye, there's a short oh, yeah. side and a long side. And some notes. I have a couple eyes. Yeah. Eyes are tricky. Yeah. Because you have to get the light in the eyes for it to yeah. look. Yeah. It's very tricky. Yeah. So Gotta what would you right. have done differently? Um, well, unfortunately, I missed a couple of the... Um, classes? Classes. The um, Yeah, I don't know what that's like. Yeah. <laughs> we both ended up missing a couple of the um, online meetups Listen, with other people. Listen, we went to the first one. We went to the first one. And, and we had every intention happened. of going all to the other to the other ones, but we both ended up going. I just totally forgot. Me too. Yeah, like it was it's not our finest. <laughs> yeah, and we were ready for the last one, but that one ended up getting canceled. So a bummer, but yeah, yeah, things happen. So definitely, I would have, you know, set alarms. I would have participated better. <laughs> I and I would have made more time to actually draw because it just you know it's been wild at work yeah so when i'm done with work i'm just want to veg on the couch but mm -hmm. that's not really helping me or yeah. bringing me joy i'm just like i just can't do anything else oh i had a couple more it's but show. hey With my full face it's a little proportions are a little no that looks incredible a little off you did good with the hair hair is hard that was it and it's it, tricky. yeah, and see, but you see how this material is. It's really yeah, you can kind of see yeah, the you grid see the lines and, and stuff. I yeah, I don't really like like that. So I definitely would get a different um, material different of a paper. Yeah, I just have um, just standard sketch paper. And I, I, my hands and my my feet were not as great as uh no. Look at that. I, That's incredible. <laughs> Those look like hands. No, I think you did amazing. <laughs> this one, this one's got like some random weird like lines. Weird thing. Like, That's all. <laughs> Thumb is all crazy. Oh, and then I, I was, I think the feet. I did pretty good with the feet. Yes, I'd love to see the feet. No, that's not. I didn't mean to say it that way. 
<laughs> yes, so, the drawings of the feet. Incredible again. <laughs> Those look so good. So yeah, I, I don't look think I've ever arch. really awesome. Yeah, I don't think I've ever really done feet. Yeah, and that uh, definitely not this well <laughs> ever. <laughs> so and then also there was a website that someone had shared mm-hmm. on um, in our class uh, that we were participating in, and there were some really cool websites, and I'll, uh, we'll have the link in the description. Um, but this one was really cool. You could kind of um, it would pick a random picture for you. You could narrow it down by uh, male or female or like a different body part that you sure. wanted to draw. And also you could set a time limit. So if you wanted to do just like a quick sketch or like a five minute, which is normally I think what I did was a five minute sketch. Yeah. And it would just pull up a, a picture for you. Yeah. And you could skip it if you didn't like it because there were some that were just like, eh, I don't think I can draw that. I'm not ready for that It's a yet. little bit hard. Yeah. But um, so I just did a couple of like nice. little five minutes. Yeah. Sketches on there. This well, one was. And I think that's helpful because you can get lost and you just keep working on it, keep yeah. working on it, keep working oh, on it. Oh, yeah. You that's, really do need to, like, just, okay, we're done that's now. That's my, my issue. But nice. this was, like, kind of a weird hand. But, oh, and then this this lady, I did a little longer than five minutes, but she was, like, kind that. of like a. That looks like awesome. A, um, Belly dancer or whatever kind of picture. So <laughs> that's what anyway, <laughs> the, yeah, belly dancer. This is the yeah. yeah. Everybody knows, right? That means belly universal. Dancer. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> awesome. Um, but yeah, I, I think it was a really fun program. I yeah, I wish that I had gone to more of the actual online yeah, classes. I need to get better about making like art and creative time a priority. Yeah, and not like oh well, if I have time, I'll do that. No, I need to make time right because it's. It's good for you. Yeah. Like, and it's yeah. good to use just a different part of your brain. Do something slightly different. Mm-hmm. Do something you're uncomfortable with or you're like, oh, I don't know. But, like, just go for it. Yeah. And I feel like this class, really, the way he was talking about, like, look at look at how this. Yeah, how I, to observe a human form. Yeah. I've, like, I, ever since then, I feel like I, I look at things differently. I'm like, yeah. oh, okay, that's how that that goes. And that's how, for sure. you know, it's just a different way of, of looking at things. It's yeah. I, when I did the art class that I did. It was like at the Corbin Art Center is through mm-hmm. Parks and Rec, Spokane Parks and Rec. When she was talking about like, oh, here, um, when you make this or when you draw this, it's really, it's shadows. So I was like, right. that like clicked for me. And I was like, oh, just do the shadows. And so, cause I'm a very detail oriented person. Right. So I would just get so into the shadow part. I'd be like, this looks dumb. And then, you know, my partner would go hold it up. He's like, I'm like, oh, those are mountains. I did that. <laughs> like I yeah. need that reminder. Yeah. Like pull it back. Yes. That is definitely a good tip as well. Because yeah, when you're, when you're in it and you're just right there, that was another thing that, um, the instructor on the videos talked about a lot too, is he, he would move around to different parts of yeah, the picture. Yeah. So he's not just stuck on that yeah. one thing. And yeah. I, I never really thought about that. Cause I think I always would just like do one thing. Oh yeah. And then go to the next oh, thing. This doesn't look, I mean, you did it enough to where it's like, well now I've done too much. I yeah. should have just left it alone, but right. you know, right. can't help it. But yeah. yeah, it's a really cool um, digital resource creative bug. Yeah. It's uh, scld.org slash creative bug. Forward slash. Forward slash. Got to make that. <laughs> it's very clear. No backslashes slash. here. No. No. Um, and, uh, and that's where you can also find so many other digital resources, so lots of other ones that, um, deal with crafts. And, yeah. I and feel like art. I know we have over 50 digital resources Yeah, and, and lots of craft ones. Too. Yeah. Yeah. But definitely. If you're kind of wanting to like dip your toes into something more creative, mm-hmm. definitely look at creative bug Yeah, because there's so many, you know, drawing for beginners, this for beginners, yeah. painting watercolor. I'd love to do play around with watercolor. Yeah. I haven't done that. Um, yeah, that would be maybe fun. The, does the library do it? And I just didn't I sign think, up. I think it does, but I that think it's right. before we started doing this kind of stuff. Yeah. So maybe when it comes around again, we can yeah, sign yeah. up for that. For sure. For sure. <laughs> but, All right. All right. Well, thanks. Uh, thanks for showing me your art. <laughs> yes. Thanks for not laughing too hard. Your art was amazing though. Your art was really good too, especially for somebody who hasn't been doing it for very long, Thank right? You. you just started yeah. with the painting. That was like your first time painting. Yeah. And then now ever. this is one of your first times doing this kind of drawing stuff. Yeah, there's so potential there. There is definitely I just potential need there. To nurture it. Yep. And uh, like I said, make it a priority. Yeah. Make creative things a priority. Yeah. I don't need to budget all the time. Okay. I don't. 
I don't have the money. It's fine. <laughs> Do creative things. Yes. So it's good. Yeah. It's good for you. Mm -hmm. Right. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.